Ace, what is up? Welcome back to the Captain Popman channel once again. Really, really appreciate the support, guys. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Uh, since the last video, we've gone up around six or seven subscribers, so now we're on number 75. Amazing, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me, all the comments you've been leaving. Keep them coming, guys. Absolutely love it. Uh, today, hottest day of the year. What do we do on the hottest day of the year? We go on a toy hunt. Uh, hence the reason for the loose shirt and stuff. Literally, I am absolutely dying of heat. Uh, it ain't any better outside either. So, you know, let's make the best of a bad situation or a good situation here in England, you know. Warm weather is hard to come by. So, you know, we are really, really lucky to have the warm weather. But my God almighty, I'm dying. Absolutely dying. Uh, so, yeah, today... I'm going to be taking you on a toy hunt around Forbidden Planet in Sheffield, uh, looking for Marvel Legends as always. Got to keep growing that Marvel Legends collection. And then we are going to be looking, I know they've got a few of the SDCC 2019 exclusive Funko Pops in as well. So we're going to have a quick look and see what pops they've got on offer. Hoping to find that Kang and Kodos double pack. I'm not sure if they do have it in, but again, we'll see when we get there. And then we may pop into the Entertainer as well, have a look at some of the pops they've got on offer and just see if there's anything that tickles us fancy. But mainly Forbidden Planet, so today, Toy Hunt Day. Love it, love it guys. These Toy Hunt videos seem to do really, really well. So yeah, let's uh, uh, let's take you on that Toy Hunt and see what we can find. Okay, so here in Forbidden Planet guys, first things first, let's have a quick look at the exclusive pops there. They've only got a few of the San Diego Comic Con ones in, as you can see. You have actually got some of the Big Bang Theory ones in there, Penny and Raj, but no Sheldon or Leonard from what I can see. Uh, the new it pops as well, so the new wave of it pops on. That, there's the forks as well from the uh, from the Harry Potter wave, the flopped forks. That's really really cool. And the Toy Story one, and you know the Black Cauldron stuff and things like that. But to be honest, not really anything I'm that bothered about. It's a shame, really. The new Kang and Kodos one. That's a bit frustrating. I would have uh, maybe picked that one up. And we've got the rat thing there as well. So that's the last one on there. But to be honest, not really that much. I'm too fussed about. Let's go and have a look at the other pops that they've got. The Simpsons stuff. Again, not sure what I think about them. I think they are quite basic, so I, I would, wouldn't be picking them up for my collection. A few Disney things and a few of the Harry Potter stuff. Crimes of Grindelwald. There's the Kiss Pops, which do look cool. I do like the music pops, as I said, waiting for the uh, the ghost one, so that would be cool. And yeah, have a quick look at some of the Star Wars. Nothing really too dissimilar than than what they normally have to be honest I do quite like that rock candy twin sh you know exclusive shining pack but I don't collect rock candy so I won't be picking that one up um, and, oh, and they, here's their uh, Forbidden Planets 2 dollars section so a lot of the Forbidden Planets so around the UK are actually selling pots for 2 dollars some of the discounted ones we'll have a quick look at them in a minute and see what we can find if there's anything you know a bargain worth picking up but to be honest it does look it does look like it's the stock that they can't get rid of, to be honest. I mean, those Power Ranger Pops, I think they've been there forever. Um, a couple of other things, the Royal Family Pops. There's a couple of Walking Dead ones there, but I did sell all the Walking Dead collections, so I'm not too bothered about them anymore. Uh, a few different Marvel ones and stuff, but like I say, it's just the basic of the basic. Something that I'm not too bothered about. There you can see there, look, the, uh, the, the $2.99 sale that they've got. And then a few of the... Uh, the bigger ones, the bigger pop moments and stuff that they've got at the top. The Twin Peaks ones, I do still have the Twin Peaks ones, I do love Twin Peaks. And then always going to the Stranger Things. I really like that Elevated Eleven, I have been tempted by that a few times. And gotta have a Steve Pop, I do like that one as well. Would have loved the, uh, the, the Comic Con exclusive, I think the 2017 one with the baseball bat and nails, but that's really jumped up in price. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't think we'll be able to get that one anytime soon for a decent price anyway yeah a few of the Marvel ones that's a reduced one at a tenner Deadpool in the chicken costume which is you know alright I guess not amazing Dark Phoenix one if it had been a chase I'd have got that but not just the common but yeah to be honest it's kinda kinda bleak that one's pretty cool now that one's that one's relatively new that's not too bad Noob Noob is a funny character off Rick and Morty. Do a little bit of Rick and Morty, but again, had quite a lot of the first wave and sold them all off. I think the only ones I've got left now are the Chasers, the uh, weaponized Rick and the Mr. Me Seeks Chase. That Captain America's pretty cool. Again, the suit looks rather grey rather than white, which it actually is in the Endgame movie. And good old Happy Hogan, got a little bit of happy. But now, again, I 
I've got the Mysterio from the Wave, that's the only one I'm bothered about, so I'm not too fussed about them guys to be honest with you at all. So yeah, it's I think pops are a, a bit of a miss today. We're not gonna go for any of the Funkos, so let's uh, let's have a quick walk around the other side. Just have a quick look and see if there's anything on the sales section, but let's have a walk around the other side and see what else we can find. So there's a few t-shirts there. I am looking for some new Marvel t-shirts. Have a look at them in a second. What's this? Sonic pack, 15 quid. Nope, I'm alright, thank you very much for that. A couple of other reduced things, some of the board games. But again, nothing here really worth taking home. Let's have a look at these t shirts. Captain America one's alright, that's not too bad. Some classic Batman. Rick and Morty and Attack on Titan. A few Star Wars ones. Yeah, back to the beginning, so nothing there tickling me either. We've got a few of the five star figures, My Hero Academia, the Ghostbusters, Kingdom Hearts, Fallout stuff. But again, I don't collect them, so we won't be taking any of them. Not really sure what I think of these. You guys let me know in the comments. I think they're pretty basic. I think it's another way to get us money, but whatever. Got to look at my Stranger Things stuff, but I have all those, so I won't be taking any of them. And then, yeah, you've got your Necker stuff. Again, I have always said that I would buy the Pennywise and, you know, figure by Necker from the from the newest it movie. I do really like that one. Um, you know, I may have picked up at one stage a Halloween pop, uh, sorry, a Halloween figure by Necker, but again, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of horror movies. Uh, same old selection, so I do like that Rogue, but unfortunately I only collect MCU. And they've got the Beast in from the Marvel Legends, that's the first time I've seen him in here couple of Weapon X's left but again I don't really collect comic book characters I only collect the MCU from the Marvel Legends there's Captain America I do like that one although the face, although the face sculpt isn't amazing um, that's a shame it doesn't look like there's any rescue or, or any from the newest Endgame wave that black cat's alright but yeah I'm real realistically after either a rescue or a Captain Marvel well, they do have Captain Marvel with Goose We've got Black Widow as well. Oh, that could be a uh, that could be a purchase. I do need that one. Uh, Captain Marvel's all right, but to be honest, I, I do think I prefer the binary one or even just the regular one. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that one. Yon Rog looks pretty good. I do like that that armor that they come in, but again, I want Captain Marvel in uh, classic colors. Yeah, that, that that Black Widow is tempting. That Black Widow is very very tempting to be honest. It's quite a cool face sculpt of her as well, so I may pick that one up. That might be the purchase of today. That's I do like that one. That's a shame really. The only problem with this Forbidden Planet, I do like it and I do I am, you know, grateful that we've got it in within Sheffield, within my hometown, but the the legend section is always really small. But there's the newest uh, Pennywise figure that Necker have released. I think from the original it movie, it's the second version of him they released, I think. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I would like that one, but probably concentrate more on the newer version of him rather than the older version, the Tim Curry version. A few of the rock candies on sale, but again, as I've said in previous videos, we don't really collect rock candies. They are cool, don't get me wrong, I do like the look of them, but not for me really, not for me. And then a few of these blind bag things that they've got here, a few Lego things and stuff like that. But again, not really. Not really my bad guys. I like figures I can pose. I think that's kind of why I fell out of the pop game. I do like figures I can pose. So let's just have another quick look over the Marvel Legends section, see if there's anything that I've missed. But I don't think there is. Like I say, a bit of a shame, really. I was really looking forward to Rescue or the binary version of Captain Marvel. But, you know, that Black Widow is pretty cool. So I do think I'll get that one, to be honest. I do like Black Widow. And she's one that, one that I need. You know, so I think probably that is one that I will I will pick up more than likely, and uh, you know, get that one on the scene. See how we look on that one. Mm. Oh, I have managed to find a double pack though. I have found the uh, the Deadpool with Scooter. Again, that is one that's tempted me for some time now. So I may pick up that one at some stage. Not today, but I may pick up that one. Just having another quick look at the, the sales stuff. Walking Dead, 10, 12 inch models, I do like them. Two versions of Negan there, pretty much the same figure, but still, they are pretty cool, I do like those. And yeah, a couple of comics and stuff like that, a couple of the manga and anime stuff, a couple of models on the top shelf. Those Watchmen figures are pretty cool up there. And I do like the Diamond Gallery PVC statues as well, they are pretty sweet, so. 
you know, we may may have to pick up them at some stage, but realistically, it's just Legends we're, color, we're, you know, we're looking at at the moment. But I'll, I'll turn the camera back on if I find something else good, guys. Okay, so we've got decided to have a quick look back at the 299 section, just to see whether or not we can find anything that we like. I know we had a bit of an in-depth look, but I have just gone back there to see if there is anything else that, you know, tickles my fancy. But so far, not good. Emma Frost looks all right. Again, 299, I know it's hardly breaking the bank, but like I've said many times before, they need to speak to me. That tool shed's pretty good for three quid, I guess. That's not too bad. Those double packs are normally around the tenner or so, so I'll have a quick look. Red Jafar's not too bad. I don't collect Disney, so that's not for me. That's pretty cool. Berserker Squanchy. And then, yeah, the uh, exclusive Emma Frost. I do like that one, but again, comic book versions, guys. Comic book, it needs to be MCU. Um, even in pop form, like I say, even though I don't really collect them anymore, it would have to be MCU that I was going for. But yeah, not a whole lot, to be honest with you. Which is a bit of a shame. I know the one, the Forbidden Planet in Leeds, has a massive section, a massive section of 299 pops, so at some stage over the next couple of weeks we will be heading into Leeds, I will take you on a toy hunt around Forbidden Planet Leeds, but yeah, pop-wise, nothing major guys, so I'm going to shut the camera off and we'll turn it back on if we find something else. Okay, so I've just had a quick look at the Pocket Pops and the Mystery Minis, and I have found the new It from the second movie Mystery Minis, which are pretty cool. Again, I'm not sure if I, I'll ever collect Mystery Minis, but nice seeing these in, in hand for the first time. They're pretty cool. And then I have just spied the three-pack Marvel Legends up there, guys, as well. The uh, Family Matters pack, the Magneto and stuff. And then, oh, I love that. Look at the price, though. I know it's that standard, but oh, I love that. And then, yeah, back to uh, the SDCC Pops, guys, just to give you a bit of a closer look at these. You know, up close, have a look at Penny. Again, they do look cool. I do like the Big Bang Theory, but not enough to buy them. That man thing's pretty sweet as well. And the Pennywise from with the tongue out, I think that's, you know, meant to be from the, I don't know if anybody has seen it, but from the new trailer. And that Forks is pretty cool. Dragon Ball, not something I collect. But yeah, nothing really. It's a shame, really. I would have, if I'd have seen that Kang and Kodo still pack, I would have picked that up. Definitely would have picked that up. But even though that, you know, rat thing, I do kind of know who it is, and it is cool that it's the last one. But again, not too bothered, guys. A couple of Star Wars things, the Black Series. But yeah, I think I, I'll probably just pick up a Marvel Legend today, guys. So let's uh, pick up the camera. I'll, I'll take you to the Entertainer. We'll have a look there. So we're in the entertainer then guys, just have a quick look here, you know, the Spider-Man Far From Home wave, again, not really too bothered about that. Do you know, I wouldn't actually mind, I wouldn't, I was thinking about this, I wouldn't mind picking up the Endgame pops, all in the time travel, the Quantum Realm suits, because I do think displayed, that would look really good. But at the minute, again, priorities are Marvel Legends and other things guys, so... But again, I've, you know, I have thought about it. That thought's pretty cool. And I do like those, you know. Like, I've thought about getting the, the Infinity War Thanoses and in the different, you know, coloured stones, that, that the chrome colours, that would be pretty cool. Not really sure what I think about the gold ones. All those ones, the comic book or the, the game versions of characters. Again, not really too fussed about any of those, really. Let's walk away from the Marvel and have a look at the clearance section in the Entertainer. And Nakia from Black Panther. Ebony Moore. I don't really look like it though. That's, that's a pop, but still, that's not amazing. Now let's just have a quick look at the other pops that they've got on offer, see if there's anything else that jumps out at us. Toy Story ones. The Star Wars one, Galactic Con exclusives. Princess Leia with uh, speeder bikes, pretty cool. Minecraft, a few of the Lord of the Rings ones. I do like the Lord of the Rings ones. I, have keep, I keep saying that I'm going to get some of the, more of the Lord of the Rings, but I haven't as of yet. Yeah, just, just looks like a lot of old base stock. Now this, this one has tempted me for a while, the uh, escape pod landing. I do like that one. 15 quid, I do think that is a pretty good price, but not today. Aquaman, the Jim Lee version is pretty cool. I do like that Batman as well, that's pretty nice, I've picked that up before. But yeah, not really.
really anything that again is tickling me which is a shame you know sometimes I do get in the mood to buy a Funko Pop and do like to go you know like I said earlier about the Endgame one sometimes I do think you know what I am going to get some but I think sometimes when the, the what's on offer isn't the best it, it does put me back off ever buying them again we'll just stick to us Marvel Legends love the Marvel Legends um yeah, a couple of others that are on sale, around £6.66 each. So again, not a bad price. A couple of WWE ones, again the Simpsons ones, but not too fussed. SpongeBob ones, I do like that Patrick one, that's pretty cool, but... You know, not for me. And a couple of the New York Comic Con ones, the Hanna-Barbera characters, Top Cat. Let's, let's see if there's a chase. I doubt it, but you never know. Let's uh, do a bit of digging and see if we can find a chase. Missed one there. Let's just make sure we get them all. No, no chase. No chase. Oh no. If it had been a chase, I may have considered it, but not for not for the regular, I'm afraid. Yeah, I think that's pretty pretty much it for the pops. So I'll have a quick look at the three and three quarters Star Wars Black Series stuff. I've actually got a three and three quarter Marvel Legends in, not a collector of those, I prefer the six inch. And yeah, a few of the basic toys. Marvel have an offer. 50% off, not too bad. Have a quick look at the Star Wars stuff. I have been tempted to buy Black Series before, and they do have a Chewbacca in, but 11 quid? No, I'm alright, thank you. Um, not at that price. Have a quick look, that's not too bad. But yeah, overall, there's nothing too, too major I'm bothered about, guys, so. I think, we, uh, I think we, we may come home empty handed. Although I did pick something up from Forbidden Planet, which I will show you at the end of the video, guys. Yeah, I think, I think that's pretty much it for today, so we'll uh, see you back at home. Okay, guys, so now we're back home. Toy hunt is over. Uh, really, really cool day, though. Unfortunately, we didn't find any Funko Pops, you know, any of the exclusives that I was actually after. As you saw in the video, no Kang and Kodos double pack, so a bit disappointed about that, but what can you do? Uh, as I've said before in previous videos, Funko is something now that I very rarely collect. They really have to stand out, really have to speak to me for, in order for me to buy them. Uh, I know that Hot Topic yesterday released that they are releasing the Papa Emeratus 2 pop from, from Ghost. I don't know if any of you guys know, but massive, massive Ghost fan. Um, and I've always hoped that they were going to release some sort of, you know, pop vinyl depicting one of the incarnations of, of Papa or Cardinal Copia. Uh, and those are coming out. Again, not sure when it's hitting the UK, but really, really excited for that one. We did pick up one thing. We actually picked up the Marvel Legend Black Widow. Um, so really, really happy about that from the Infinity War Wave, Wave 2, I think it is. So yeah, another Marvel Legend to add to the collection. Really, really happy about this one, guys. I was actually going for Rescue or Cap the Binary Captain Marvel, but they didn't have either. Uh, but I was happy to find this one. This is one I needed for the collection, so really, really happy with that. And there will be a review coming soon, um, you know, taking her out of the box, as always, and getting a post up, seeing how she looks. But yeah, no Funko Pops. But like I say, we did get a Marvel Legend, so I'm happy. I'm happy, guys. But as always, thank you so much for tuning in. Really, really hope you liked the video today. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let me know that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing, that we're going to continue doing the hunts, doing the reviews, that sort of stuff. Uh, we have got some more reviews coming over the next few days, so we will be a couple more Marvel Legends and stuff like that coming on the channel. Hope you guys are enjoying them. If you are, again, hit that like button, leave some comments, let me know. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. So once again, thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate all that support. Like, share, and subscribe. Keep saying it. All about that subscribing life, guys. And once we get to 100, we're going to be doing a giveaway. So yeah, thank you so much again for tuning in. And as always, guys, take it easy.